Here in the Sahel, one in two people live on less than $1.25 per day. There are over 11 million people living under the threat of hunger and 5 million under 5 children suffer from acute malnutrition. Education attainment remains low, especially for girls. Early marriage and pregnancy are among the most frequent in the world. Maternal and neonatal mortality rates remain high. The Sahel region tops the world fertility rate with six to seven children per woman. Three out of five inhabitants are below the age of 25. This means that the dependent people by far outnumber the working age population. But the Sahel is not a wasteland in the middle of nowhere. In fact, it is located in Africa and the Sahel could tap into its demographics and unlock powerful demographic dividends. The time to act is now. Ensuring that all children, especially girls, spend the longest possible time at school and that early marriage does not endanger the lives of young girls and their children. The time to act is now. This call to action on women's empowerment and demographics is not simply about numbers. It is about people. The time to act is now. We know that educating adolescent girls and getting health services to women will lead to greater prosperity not just for individual families, but also for entire economies. The time to act is now. Investing in young people and enabling them to exercise their human rights not only benefits young people themselves, but can also help their countries reap a demographic dividend. The time to act is now. We young people, especially young girls, want to be well trained. We want to take part when it comes to make decisions and to be involved in the development of our countries. The time to act is now.